The Rode Lavalier Go. It's the microphone that made this channel happen. My first results with it were absolutely amazing, don't get me wrong. It's just that I had a little thought. What if I put it head to head to my $2 lav mic, which I got off of Amazon about eight or nine years ago? Could I tell the difference between a $70 lav mic and a $2 lav mic? I was a bit shocked. Have a listen for yourself at the end of this video and see if you can tell the difference. Now I know YouTubers make product reviews in a certain way. I'm new to this, sorry. So I'm gonna do it differently because you're here to find out what this microphone sounds like in different real world situations. You don't wanna see the box. So here's the microphone, here's the box. Let's get on with it. And here, and here, and there, and everywhere. Oh my God. All right, so now we're in traffic. You can hear the engine, you can hear other cars, but not as much as if it was the internal microphone. And to test out the difference between the Rode uh, Lav Go, whatever it's called, uh, let's do a comparison with the internal microphone of the GoPro now. So that's what it sounds like internal microphone of the GoPro. Pretty bad, isn't it? Especially in the tin can of a car like we have here. So now we're, we're back on the, ooh, not many parking spaces. Gonna go around and around again into one of these parking spaces in between these two guys, I think. I'm gonna leave it like that. So, what does the, oh God, what does the microphone sound like in the car? Well, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I know what it sounds like and it's pretty decent, I would say. So let's go sort out some errands and uh, then we'll continue. <laughs> And here we are outside. Now, I'm walking quite far away from the camera. I should be about five to six meters away, maybe five. This is the, uh, the Lavalier Go that you're hearing now. Uh, of course, combined with the Zoom H1, which I have in the pocket here. This is a really nice setup to get really far away from the camera and still have all of your audio set up on you at all times. Let's compare the sound now to the internal microphone of the 6D. Do that now. And now you're hearing my voice from five meters away. I'm not trying to get my voice across. I'm not shouting. I'm just speaking in a normal, uh, a normal voice. It's freezing outside. It's not the ideal day for me to be And you can hear that this lavalier microphone is cutting out a lot of the ambient noise we've got a little bit of wind we've got some traffic i was hoping for a busier a busier time uh, on the road it's usually very busy very loud but we also have a construction company behind us and my whatsapp just went off i'm going to pop back into the house now because it's really cold and we'll get on with the review But garden shots and when you're vlogging inside your own car is one thing. What if you're doing a commercial shoot like this? We're filming in a very, very empty house. There's no furniture, no carpets, no drapes, no nothing. And the echo is overwhelming. So what you're hearing now on the lapel microphone might actually be not that bad. To make a short comparison, let's switch over to the inbuilt microphone of the 60 now. So what does it sound like? You're probably overwhelmed by the the echo in the room, right? That would be a situation where you could use a lapel mic like this. Speaking about vlogging, this would be a nice vlogging setup with the lavalier go on your neck and filming on something like a GoPro or whatever. And here we are doing a commercial shoot for a client who is renting out this beautiful old building that's just been renovated. It's about 200 years old, I think and they're renting it out to small businesses in town. Let's go see what the guys are doing. I don't want to slack. 
they're earning their living and I'm just here making YouTube videos. Guys! I just, ru I just ruined his shot. Sorry, Stefan. All right, so I should get back to work because I just ruined the guy's shot and they're not very happy. I'll see you later. Okay, so not too bad, right? Everything you heard in those short tests came out of the Zoom H1 unedited. All we did was crank up the volume a little bit. What you're hearing now is the same microphone, the Rode Lavalier Go, with a little bit of EQ and some compression to suit my own preferences. But you can play around with different settings to see what suits you and your needs. I'm not going to cover the specs of this microphone on this video because I think you can just read a spec sheet on Amazon and if you want something a little bit more detailed, there's plenty of tech channels that have already reviewed this microphone. I want you to get what I wanted to get when I was first researching this microphone and that is audio samples. Subscribe now if you appreciate my honesty. So to help you decide if you need a $70 lav mic like this, or if you can live with a bog standard, cheap Amazon version of the same microphone, I'm recording this section of the video with both of the mics, right here and right here, and I will be alternating between them. You will see the name of the microphone each time on your screen. I'm also doing this part of the video outside because I want to get close to a real world use case. And also we need to see how well each microphone isolates your voice from the surrounding noise. Please remember that I'm recording into the Zoom H1, which has pretty good preamps. So be careful if you're plugging in directly to your DSLR camera because they don't always have the best preamps. Finally, my thoughts on the whole experience using the Rode Lavalier Go and the comparison with the $2 generic mic. First thing to mention here is the build quality on the road. You're getting a premium product that's well put together and it will last you for years if you look after it. The $2 mic? Well, not so much. I bought a pack of five of these for $10 from Amazon years ago and, well, out of five, this is the last one that still works. Secondly, sound quality is definitely a win for the Rode. You can use it straight out of the recorder or camera and it sounds decent enough. I also like the fact that you can push it in post and the audio stays together. Not too much noise at all and it takes a minimal amount of EQ to get it sounding great. The $2 mic? Not a huge difference to me, at least when it's straight out of the zoom, but I would be careful how hard I push the gain and other effects on it. But if you just need a mic on you to give you that freedom and better audio than your camera's built-in microphone, then I would say pretty much any cheap lav mic will do in the beginning. I actually used this cheap mic for client work back in the day and they even paid me. For me, the Lavalier Go is the clear winner out of all of this, but if I had to choose between the inbuilt microphone on a camera and something cheap and easy to use, I wouldn't hesitate at all. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. If you want to know more about what I plan to do with this channel or about me, you can click the link up there in the, in the corner to see my channel trailer. My cat approves. And if you enjoyed this video, that is great. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.